Okay, so skin tones in DaVinci Resolve 20. Now I'm using client supplied footage today because you are not gonna get perfect cinema quality footage every time, especially if you're an editor, you have to work with what you've got. So fortunately, this one isn't too bad. So I'm in the color page here in DaVinci Resolve. I've already applied a few nodes. I've got a color space transform, I've got white balance correction, and I've got some noise reduction because the footage was very noisy. So the color space transform is because it was a log footage. So I've just converted it to Canon Log 2. So I've just converted it with the input gamma and input color space. And if you do have log footage, you wanna make sure that your white balance and some of your lighting corrections are on the node before it, because if you put it after it, then it's already been compressed by the color space. So I've already made sure the white balance is corrected as well. Obviously I've gone for a little bit more orange because it's in Costa Rica. I don't want it to look blue and cold. Now I'm gonna create my new node. So Alt S or Command S if you're on a Mac. And then we're gonna select the skin tones with the qualifier tab. Come here, make sure this is on click on her skin, and if you press Shift H, it will show you what you've selected. You can also press this little button up here. And then we're gonna play around with the qualifier that we've got. So I'm gonna expand the color a little bit. You can also use the plus button. So I know obviously she has skin here and skin here. Drag around the saturation because I don't want everything in the background to be on. Some clean blacks to get rid of the darker parts. Clean whites just to bring it out a little bit. Maybe actually just add a plus. Now I always add denoise and blur. And it's fine if you have some things in the background as well. What you don't want is a lot of shaking in the background, which you can see here. If you play through it, it's gonna be a little bit fuzzy when you do a correction. So I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that a little bit more with the clean black. Okay, so I am happy with the skin selection here. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to see where your skin tone is lying on the vector scope. So come down here and expand your scopes. And make sure you have two things selected. So in the three dots here, you want display qualifier focus, because that means when you drag over something, you can see where it is on your scopes. And on the vector scope, you want the skin tone indicator. So you can see the line where the skin tone should reside. So remember these are averages as well, because if you're filming in England like me, you will have a lot of, how to put this nicely, alcoholics with very purple skin and they ruin wedding shots because it is impossible to color grade for them. So to make this more accurate, I'm gonna add a power window, turn off the feather and just drag it down to part of her skin. You can also make the vector scope a lot brighter so you can see it clearer, clearly if it's not noticeable enough. Okay, so I can see that she is far too on the red side. So come over to your log wheels and then I'm gonna play with the offset and drag it over so it matches more along that line. So I'm gonna drag it to the left. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit as well because I think she's way too saturated. So that's a lot more in the center now. So that's before, after. Okay, so it is looking better, but I think it's a little bit too green because she's surrounded by leaves. So she's obviously got a lot of reflection on her face. So if you come to the mid-tones in the log wheels as well, so I'm gonna push the purples back up to give her some more purple into her skin. So it's a very subtle amount, but it does get rid of some of the reflections a little bit there. And before, after. I also think it's flattened her face a little bit too much as well with the color correction. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a curve in there just to bring back some of the highlights. So obviously if you're doing this for real, you'll spend a lot more time on it. So there is one more thing I do to check. So you obviously white balance in your first node, but sometimes you're not gonna get it perfectly right because white balancing can be tricky sometimes, especially when you've got white things that are being reflected by orange things and green things and it just, it makes it painful. So once you've done the skin tones, you might wanna check and see if your whole picture was actually off. So first I would make a copy of that node, make a new node, control C, control V, and then just control D to hide that. So come over to your qualifier and then I'm just gonna reset the picker just to see if the white balance correction actually looks better on the overall image. So that's just the skin tones and that's everything. I think this one works better with me just correcting the skin tone. So I'm gonna leave that and delete that second node. And then at the end, when you want to add a color grade, you want to try and leave your skin tones out of it because you don't wanna affect them too much. So I'm just gonna make a new node, Alt S, and then add a layer node underneath drag the blue from your skin node to the bottom node, just so these two are now connected. And then I'm just gonna make an example. I'm gonna put a LUT on this top one. And now you can see that the LUT has affected everything but the skin tones that we highlighted. Now I don't like this LUT to be too strong, so I'm gonna come over to the key and drag the, out, drag the gain output down until I find, because I just like a subtle effect on the background, something like that. Just a nice little boost of some of the colors and some blues in the shadows. And you can see the difference here if we disable this. Now it's affected a face, it's way too orange. 
and now our face has been left out. But if you do want to blend the face a little bit, because if you watch any film, you'll notice that the skins are blended in a little bit with the color grade. Come to your layer node and on the key output again, just reduce the gain however much you want just to blend it in with your skin, with your grade as well. I'm just going to do that to give it a little bit of a blend. I mean, that's off and that's just blended. So there you go. Some quick tips on skin correction in DaVinci Resolve 20.